Hello there, I'm Dr. Scott Kilberg, your video foot doc, here with another installment of my series of videos on foot care and foot disease. Today I'm going to talk about something very important, and that's two ways that diabetics can care for their feet in order for them to prevent problems that can occur in the feet. Diabetes is a very devastating disease and can lead to many complications. Some of the worst complications can occur in the feet, in which wounds and infections can cause amputations. Amputations are very serious matters, and often uh, the poor health related to an amputation and the extra strain on the heart required to use a prosthetic will often lead many diabetics to be dead within five years of having an amputation. So the goal is to, to preserve the limb and to keep one from having to have an amputation if you have diabetes. There are two very important ways that one can prevent these problems from occurring that could potentially lead to an amputation. The first technique a diabetic should employ is to always wear shoes at all times. Now obviously most people know to wear shoes uh, outside the house because you could potentially step on broken glass or other sharp objects that could cause harm. But a lot of people don't realize that that same harm can be present inside the house. No matter how clean the house is kept, there can still be some object that one can step on, uh, such as a carpet tack, a piece of ceramic from a broken plate, uh, something that was brought in by a family pet or off of the shoe of some other family member, that could still pose a danger to one walking barefoot throughout their home. Um, most people, when they have an object stick into their foot, like a piece of glass or a sewing needle or splinter or something, it hurts. You will feel it. However, diabetics have a condition called peripheral neuropathy in which they don't have as good a sensation as, as other people will have. Now most diabetics, their feet aren't completely numb. They can still feel things. However, when they step on something sharp and it punctures into the skin, it can simply feel like something's just simply pushing on the skin and not actually poking into the skin. This can lead to a problem in which that object could stay lodged in the skin for quite some time without someone knowing it, and it can lead to an infection because of bacteria contained on that object, and ultimately that can lead to a, a wound that's difficult to heal. And sometimes these things do lead to hospitalizations, including deep abscesses and bone infection that can potentially lead to amputation. So the key is always wear shoes if you're diabetic, no matter where you are, whether you're outside or inside. Now indoors, you know, you can still wear a, a light shoe. It can be a house shoe or at least a slipper that has a thick enough sole in order to protect the bottom of the foot. The second technique that a diabetic needs to employ in order to protect their feet is to let their eyes and fingers do the work that their sensation won't necessarily do. What I mean by that is that there are many conditions that can start off very slow. Um, blisters, bruises, cuts, and scrapes that can eventually lead to major wounds and major problems. Um, there are a lot of instances in which I've had patients that had blisters or other types of small skin wounds that started on the foot because of a poorly fitting shoe or some type of injury that because they didn't feel it, they never looked at it or noticed it. And slowly over the course of a couple of weeks, these things start to fester until finally they see pus contained on their sock and it becomes a major wound or a major infection and requires hospitalization sometimes over the treat. So the easiest way to look out for these things when one doesn't have very good sensation is to simply look at the foot and use the eyes in, replace of, in replacement of the sensation. A foot inspection is very quick. It only takes about 10 or 15 seconds. You look at the top of the foot, the bottom of the foot, in between the toes, just looking for anything that looks out of the ordinary, such as cuts, scrapes, blisters, wounds, anything that could indicate that something is going on to the skin and could eventually compromise the skin in some way, allowing bacteria as well as disease of the skin to occur. Now, there are a lot of people that simply can't bring their feet up in order for them to be able to see the bottom of them due to a wide variety of different issues, bad hips, uh, a large abdomen, that sort of thing. Uh, there are other techniques that can be uh, used in order to see the foot. One easy one is to simply take a hand mirror and put it on the ground. And from that, one can look at the bottom of their foot uh, pretty effectively. Just remember to, take the, or per, to pick the mirror back up so you don't step on it and break the glass, uh, causing another sharp object you could potentially step on. Another technique is to simply have a family member uh, or friend uh, provide that inspection on a daily basis if they're around, and that makes it very easy. By inspecting your feet, you'll be able to catch these problems as they occur before they become more significant. Uh, and by wearing shoes, as I said before, you can generally prevent punctures and other types of problems that can occur uh, to the skin, which could eventually lead to deep infections and potentially hospitalization and amputation. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. 
Look for uh, more videos on all sorts of foot topics on this, uh, on this site as well as others. Or you can visit my website at www.inpodiatrygroup.com. Thank you.